now we're going to meet one of the larger species of fungus in your family. So, everyone, keep your eyes right there once again and let's welcome Vicky, our great one. They work for cavities or holes in trees. Now, right, change over the cup. We've successfully created programs for our own pills. Now, this is because we give them nest boxes, which is very similar to that nest box right up there. Okay, so in a very short while, Vicky is going to check out her nest box. Okay, so for that to happen, it's going to fly up to Azira. Can the child on the stack is our seat uh, at the seat? Uh, this is to have lesser distraction. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Looks like a kid. Okay, can we get the kid to sit at the seats? Thank you. Alright. Yes. Why are you vocalizing? Did you hear that? That's how great my on those vocalize. Okay, up to Hazira. Let's just give us some time to check out the surroundings just to make sure that everything is safe first before flying over. Okay? So, Vicky? Okay, she's checking out the surroundings. Okay, don't know whether she's checking out the surroundings or posing for picture. Okay, please do not attempt to touch the bird. Thank you very much. Vicky, you want to fly over? There you go. Uh, nest box is to your right. You see that pole? That's a nest box. Are you still checking out the surroundings? It's quite safe here at Vicky. Come on, do your little hop. Go to the nest box. The hole is there for you to go inside. Vicky. <laughs> As you can see, when it comes to working with birds, we need a lot of patience, okay? Looks like Vicky is enjoying that Need to do a few hops. No? <laughs> okay, so for those who've been nearer to Vicky, oh, that's it. It's much better. Okay, so in a very short while, she's going to check out the inside of the nest box, and only if she likes it, she will then hop right in. Oh, did she go inside already? That was fast. Okay, so what's inside? The female will seal herself using soil. We go to take the food and even her own droplets. Now the pool will only be big enough for her beak to stick out. Vicky, if you like the nest box, you can seal it up now. Huh? That was fast. Vicky, are you still inside? <laughs> there she is. Alright now, ladies and gentlemen, keep your eyes right behind you once again. Let's go. happens in the wild, the female stays inside, the male will have to look for food to feed her. This will go on for three to four months until the eggs are hatched. After which, mother and child will leave the nest. Now, right in the car, we have been successful in breeding oriental pipe on bills. Okay, now thanks to first up from Africa, keep your eyes right there. Let's welcome our green boy, Pelicans! <laughs> Wow. Okay, moving over to the land down under our Australian pelicans. And they go all the way to China, Ili. And let's head over to Eastern Europe and welcome our Dalmatian pelicans. Dalmatian pelicans. Can you see that? Okay, so you can see they are demonstrating their scooping action. Okay, 
So in very short while, I'm going to bring them a bit more closer to some, I mean, to the front so that you all can see them up close, okay? So why don't you join me on stage? Okay, let's start with our largest species of pelican. Like we said, this is our Dalmatian pelican. So Dalmatian pelicans, they can be found in Eastern Europe, okay? So they're also um, known as the curly-headed pelicans because of the feathers that can be found in their head. Can you see those curly feathers? So those are the Dalmatian pelicans. And over here, we've got our great white pelicans, also known as the rosy yet pelicans. Okay, we have our great white pelicans. Alright, and lastly, we have our Australian huh? pelicans, also known as the spectacle pelicans. Because if we look up close, you can actually see some rings around their eyes. Now, the male Australian pelican has the longest bill in the bird world, okay? Alright, looks like our pelicans are doing a wonderful job here on stage. Now, let's all head back to Africa and let's welcome the super models of the world. Can you guess what they are? Keep your eyes right there once again. Here comes our great Flamingos. They are the tallest species in the flamingo family, which they can easily attain a height of 1.5 meters. So we've got over 60 of them right here on stage. Now these birds have done a wonderful job, a grand finale of one birds, and well, let's give them a big hand! <laughs> of our program. Okay, so we hope you've enjoyed the program as much as I have presenting it to all of you. On behalf of all of us right here at Bird Park, please we continue to enjoy your day. But before you leave, just take a look around you and take all your belongings with you, alright? Thank you and bye!